In my last video, I show you how to recover a laptop if you forgot the password for a local account or maybe there's issues with the domain connections and you cannot get in and you want to reset that password. Make sure to watch my video uh, locked out of uh, laptop because in that video, I also how to create your recovery media, Hiring Boot CD. So we already done that. Now, what else you can come across in a real world environment that you may need this? Now, another very important job that you may come across is if, for example, for some reason you cannot get into the operating system. You know the laptop is working, but it's showing some corruption. It may have a boot issue. You turn it on and it's giving you some weird type of issues that you just cannot get into the operating system. So that limits your ability to get the data now a lot of time a lot of people will just have you know different methods and everything they would go to the command line try to copy things and stuff like that now those definitely require skills and everything and you can do that definitely by going google and stuff like that but since if you have this recovery media what we can use this for so the first thing is let's consider that our laptop right now is totally down. I mean, it's working, you turn it on and it gives you this boot error. So this could be, of course, many different issues that you may come across. If the hard drive is bad, then of course, this won't even work. You won't be able to even get into that hard drive. So that will be a different scenario. For now, let's say everything is working. It's just the operating system is having an issue. So you can find out quickly by just plugging this uh, you know recovery media and this could be let's say your CEO in this scenario CEO uh, laptop is not working you he cannot get in and he really needs his file because he saved it locally on this laptop so you really want to do that grabbing those files first before you do anything else now let's go and plug this in and start this machine with our recovery CD uh, sorry USB now, once you plug it in, just like our last video, we're going to turn on the laptop and based on your model of the laptop, you're going to go ahead and boot it from the USB. Oops, this was in sleep mode. So let's go ahead and totally turn it off. I know that's not a good way of doing this, but I don't care about this laptop. So there you go. You turn it on and based on your model, you're going to basically choose what uh, key will take you to the boot uh, operating system. So there you go. It took me to that. And now I'm going to restart this laptop with that USB. So right now, if you're brand new and you're watching my video for the first time, you need to go back to my previous video, which is that one, uh, my latest video, which is called Locked Out of Laptop, Forgot My Password. I'll put this in description too. You need to watch that because in that I showed how to create this media. Just like in last video, make sure you wait for this. It takes time. So there you go. Your CD will start like that. Now, if this requires internet connections, then I highly recommend you plug in your, um, um, you know, ethernet to this laptop. As you can see, it's going and finding out things. Uh, if you click on here, you see there's an ethernet, uh, you know. So if they, if you do have that, then make sure you do that. And it does have a Wi-Fi, you know, uh, adapter right there. But I don't know if this is really going to work, even though my, you know, my, my Wi-Fi is turned on. That's still not going to work. So, of course, this is something that is going to get, become more technical and you need to fix those kind of things. But, you know, you really don't need to. If this is something that you want to do some kind of troubleshooting inside the machine and you need to get it, pieces from Internet, then I highly recommend you download it already in the USB. But at this point, you can see, like I said before, that you can do many different things to this laptop. But our goal in this video is specifically getting the documents that is uh, required by you or you want to get those documents so as you can see our usb is right here this is where everything is running from so if i double click on it you see all of that information is in there so most likely you're going to need to get into the drive that you're looking for like you say your ceo drive is right here so once you get in there so it doesn't matter whoever that is, you, you will be able to get in unless they have encrypted something like that. So if, let's say, for example, this is our admin account. You can see I can clearly get into the admin account and go into my documents. So this document folder will not work. So if you come over here, you see how it's uh, giving you a message. But you see, this is how you're going to be using this document right here. So the other ones that are hidden ones that are not going to work, you can clearly see that that's almost the same same document uh, folder 
So if you go to the path, it doesn't give you anything more than that. So that's something that's, I don't know if this is something to do with Windows or something like that. But again, if you come over here, Windows, there you go. My document is in the same path, which is my username and my, uh, you know, path right there. So if the document was saved right here, then you're good to go. You will just grab those documents. So if the person have pictures or anything like that, of course, they will have everything here. Pictures. So you double click on it and there will be pictures right there. I'm sure a lot of people kind of like, you know, save this kind of stuff. And most of the people are going to be worried about their documents inside this area of the profile. So and another big one is favorites. I know a lot of people work for many, many years in the companies and they make their favorites in the web browser. And one of the hardest thing for them is to lose that. And that's definitely it's going to be something very annoying to them. Now, in real environments, a lot of people take care of this stuff through networks. So they will be saving this stuff or they will tell people that do not save any documents inside your local machine for this specific reason because nobody then have that type of time to just go and you know fix every but every machine out there so they do some type of backing up on a network so or they have solutions for this but if they don't then of course this is one way to for you to come in and get the documents videos whatever that is and once you do that once you do that after that you can Go for the solutions like refreshing the whole window operating system, getting an image, putting it on this laptop, and then, of course, all of the data will be removed, but you're going to have a fresh system. And then you put the same documents, come back over here and put it into the same profile, and the person have everything back in there. So this way, you can totally uh, get away with a very, uh, you know, tedious type of situation or, or a situation that you feel like you really couldn't help with this kind of tool. It's very easy to do these kind of things. Now, of course, this is all GUI. You could have done that through a command line and everything, but you would need a lot of skills to do that. And sometimes that also will uh, uh, kind of like, you know, uh, with access and everything, you need to understand everything. So in our next videos, we're going to go over some of the tools that it comes up with. And maybe we'll just go into more and more videos and do real world scenarios like this. And then, of course, that would be nice. Now, the last thing is that of course my CD, my USB have a lot of space so I could have copied things from here to here. But let's say this is a 2 GB USB that you're using right here. Then you're gonna need an external USB and make sure you plug it in already in the system when it starts. Sometimes it doesn't pick up things. So I would recommend that if it doesn't, maybe doing that, maybe at the end you can just plug it in and see if that works for you. But these are some of the things that usually I'll come across. Now this can also be used for something like if somebody a machine is infected and then they have some of the you know uh, issues in the beginning when you start the machine and locks the machine down or stuff like that you can really come to the c drive of this machine and remove some of the crap from the machine just like this and then it will work i will show you one example like that later on but i hope you like this video